orange bullet journal spread which is bubble themed and I'm also going to be doing a bubble themed DIY. If you guys watched my previous bullet journal video then you guys know that I made crystals that went along with my bullet journal theme. So this is why I decided to go with a bubble theme for this week's video. So this is going to be a new thing here on my channel. Every month I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal spread and I'm going to have a DIY that goes along with it because I feel like that's something unique that not a lot of YouTubers do. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a bubble piece of artwork. So I basically paint something out of bubbles, if that makes sense. If you guys don't know what that is, then definitely keep watching this video because I always start with the DIY and then I move on to the actual bullet journal. I actually really like how both of these pieces came out, so yeah, let's get straight on to this video. So for this bubble painting, I'm going to be using three colors of paint. You can obviously use more, but I decided to go on three and I'm using pink, blue, and purple. So I first started off by pouring the paints into the three cups to separate them so that they all won't get mixed up. Then I took some clear foaming soap, and yours doesn't have to be foaming, it could be liquid. And I placed three pumps inside of the paint, and then I added some water to all three of them and stirred that all up. Then I began to blow bubbles with a straw, but be careful to not like suck it in or else you can like die because of the chemicals in paint. So yeah, you don't want to do that. Just blow bubbles and then place a piece of paper on top of it like I did here. The first time I did it, it did not really work. However, the second time I did it, it kind of worked. I found that the blue seemed to work best, so I was kind of confused why the blue worked and the pink worked. But then I thought that the stronger the color, the better this painting will look. So yeah, I definitely recommend you use darker colors because the foaming hand soap and the water does make it lighter. Then I went in with more soap and found that the painting does come out better if you use more soap and a stronger color to paint. So I continue to place the paper on top of the bubbles that I made and here is how the paint turned out. And it doesn't look the best, however, it is not as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought this would be a fail. So here is how the piece actually came out. Um, not gonna lie, at first I was losing hope since I didn't really see much pigment co coming off of the paint. However, it then turned into this very cute piece of artwork. It just needs to dry still, but I think it looks great. So yeah, now let's get back to the bullet journal stuff. So the first page was inspired by one that I found on Pinterest, however the others I did make myself so they are all my ideas. I decided to draw some bubbles all around a bathtub that you will see me draw in later, or now I'll actually. So I drew a bathtub with a little rubber ducky on top because I thought that'd be cute and would go with the bubble themed. And I colored in all of the bubbles blue and I made a nice drop shadow behind the bubbles with gray. And I colored in the rubber duck and the outline the bathtub in gray just to add more dimensions. And I think that this page came out super cute and it is definitely one of my favorite spreads. Then I moved on to the sleep tracker. This time I made it kind of like a bar graph and I drew the numbers of the days on the bottom axis and then on the Y axis I drew the number of hours I would sleep. Wow, I'm using math terms. Wow, incorporating math into my videos. And yeah, then I do some I did some sketches on the top and this is how the page turned out. This one is actually quite simple. For the next page I did my March fitness, so this is the fitness slash workout tracker that I always have. I drew like a mini calendar and basically every day of the week I would highlight in with yellow on these spots where I actually did my workout. So as you can see here, I did it for all days and yeah, I kind of messed up on the end, but that was fine. I covered it up in white, even though it still kind of looks ugly, but yeah, here's the page. And then I moved on to the weekly spread and I actually really like how this came out. I was kind of nervous on making my own spread because I thought that it wouldn't look as good as the other ones that I've seen. But I actually really like how it came out. I traced everything in black and did bubbles with a rectangular box as you can see. And I colored them all in blue and added a gray drop shadow because you guys know that I love drop shadows when it comes to bullet journal. And here's how the finished spread came out and this is one of my favorite spreads. I already said that but I actually really like this spread and it looks good with the bubbles. And that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and yeah 
Here are today's subscriber shoutouts. If you want a shoutout, then comment down below hashtag subbed and turn post notifications on to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I usually post on Saturdays at 10 a.m. so stay out for that. So yeah, subscribe down below and watch my previous video. Bye!